Aside from a spotty shower in our northern and western areas early tomorrow, Wednesday is going to be a pretty dry day. However, the weather pattern will start to change. We're tracking an approaching cold front that will come in on Thursday, and that will bring in a few scattered showers. Not a washout, but it will also get pretty breezy, and temperatures are going to fall into the afternoon. Friday, another storm system, low pressure developing, will bring some heavier rain to our southern counties, but most of that will come during the daytime hours as well, ahead of a drier Saturday. Saturday, we may have to increase rain chances on Sunday, especially during the afternoon and evening, as at that point in time, we'll be watching another disturbance in our weather pattern. But here's what we're looking at right now. The skies have cleared out for the time being. A boundary is lifting its way northward. That's warmer air here. That southerly winds coming into our region, increasing our temperatures into the 70s for tomorrow and near record breaking conditions as well in terms of warm weather. Some locations might even get up to 80. However, it would be very, very low localized in our southern and western areas for tomorrow. Not everybody's going to see that. But here's what we have on the future cast. An increase in cloud cover late tonight. Nothing major yet. But by about 8 to 9 in the morning, we'll see maybe a spotty shower or two in our western counties. Once that boundary completely lifts its way northward, southerly winds, warm temperatures, and plenty of sunshine tomorrow. Not a lot of moisture in the air, so that risk of brush fire spread will continue. No burning recommended. It's banned during the daytime hours for that matter. Into Wednesday night, we'll watch the cold front. The boundary make its way back eastward again. A few light spotty showers to the north and west at 2 in the morning. And then you'll see that front start to take shape in the southeast and Ohio in about 7 o'clock or so in our northern and western counties. Then it proceeds to the Huntington area by about 8 in the morning and then here in Charleston between 8 and 9. Once it all passes by lunchtime, the sun will come back out, but those temperatures, they're going to fall. The warmest part of the day in the morning for Thursday. By the afternoon, just dropping temperatures into the 50s there quickly by 730. We do have an increase of cloud cover once again because there's another area of low pressure that could potentially be developing. And that will bring in some more showers for Friday, particularly during the daytime hours. A little bit soggy there by 1030. There's even a few light snow showers into the eastern mountains, the higher elevations, the wraparound flow from this storm system, bringing in some colder air there. However, by the afternoon, chances for rain might decrease, but temperatures, they're not warming up by any means. Still in the 40s there consistently. We're looking for about a quarter of an inch of rain with the cold front on Thursday, and then the highest rainfall totals will be in southern and eastern areas on Friday with that low pressure center. The first half of the weekend, Saturday looks nice. A mix of sun and clouds, more cloudy in the southern location. But then on Sunday, we get by the daytime okay before a disturbance starts to develop. That could bring a few light showers in late Sunday night into Monday and still a cooler weather pattern into the next week in the 50s. Partly sunny skies, though. That's the nice thing about it. But much cooler weather, it's not too far away from now.